Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and it looks like the great news doesn't stop for jailbreakers. It just keeps coming and coming. So I have a post over here on my website, besttechinfo.com, and I will link you guys to it down below in the more info. And the title is 4.3 Untethered Jailbreak, and is it Jailbreak Me 3.0? We will find out sooner or later. But iPhone security hacker and security expert Stefan Esser recently updated the description of his video on YouTube. It's the one that demonstrated the iOS 4.3 jailbreak on an original iPad and it now says the following. So I'm not going to read this verbatim, however I will quickly summarize it. So basically he is just saying that his video demonstrates the jailbreak on his iPad first generation and it uses an undisclosed exploit in the iOS kernel and the installation is similar to previous iOS versions, which means you require a boot ROM exploit or something else to install it on the root partition. So I'm not going to go into depth on the entire thing, uh, like I said earlier, but basically he is just saying to also avoid all of the people who are claiming that it is already out because they are just trying to scam you. And he's also saying that there is no ETA for it. However, he is saying, I'm pretty sure that the untethered exploit will be released before next weekend. And he said, I was using older kernel patches that caused lagging on jailbroken devices. I will change that and then port it to other devices and release. So basically, I don't know if you guys watched my video yesterday, but I talked about how Ionic said thank you to Comex for actually fixing the lag on the devices. So it looks like they've pretty much got that down. And all that they have left to do now is to port it to other devices and then they can actually package it and release it. So hopefully it should be out sometime this week. If not this week or this weekend, then for sure by next weekend, he says. So look forward to it really soon. And I just linked you guys to the video right here so you can watch it. And the best part is that we could see a jailbreak that is probably going to be packaged similarly to Jailbreak Me, and it will probably be a web-based jailbreak app. Now, for those of you that don't know, Jailbreak Me was the one where you go to the website on your device and you slide to jailbreak and it looks exactly like this. Now I actually love that jailbreak. It was super easy. It worked 100% and it was amazing. And basically we will probably see something similar to this. It could be jailbreak me 3.0. It could be something else. Who knows? It hasn't been confirmed yet what it will be called. And to be honest, I was a little skeptical at first until I saw proof from the man himself, Comex. Uh, so basically just take a look at what someone asked him on Twitter and his reply. So they said, does this mean Jailbreak Me 3.0 is out now since you had jailbroken the new iPad 2? And he said, no, it will take some work to package it into a jailbreak. Same deal as Ionic. So basically that's exactly what I was saying up here that Ionic said they had to take more time to package it and chances are pretty good that Ionic and Comex are working together with this and they are actually trying to create an amazing jailbreak for us. So again, hopefully it should be out soon. Just subscribe to me and I will have first coverage on it. Also, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Rate this video up and until next time, this is ICU signing out.